Lauren Rue. I'm the restaurant manager for the Horse and Plow in Kohler, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to make for you one of my favorite things on the sandwich menu of the Horse and Plow, which is our lobster salad roll. So we'll start with our bun, and I'm really, really proud of this bun. It's made uh, in-house by our headmaster baker, Doug Steber, so we actually call it a modified Steber bun. It's a very light roll. Uh, it has very little butter in it, so it's absolutely very, very lean. And what we do is we take off the ends as well as the two sides. And, and really when we were concepting this dish, we really wanted it to be as if you were in Maine uh, and, and joy, enjoying as fresh of lobster as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and take some butter. And we take the butter and we throw the butter right in the griddle. We'll just get, get that bread nice and soaked up on both sides and we'll let that start to toast. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and make our lobster salad. So we do have some fresh Maine lobster, and we like to use uh, the big, the claws and the knuckles of the lobster. We find that the lobster meat tends to be very sweet. Uh, we also add a little bit of the juice from the lobster as well. So you get, a, or again, a really nice fresh product. So you, and you can see the quality, nice, beautiful. We, uh, we poach them for about two and a half to three minutes until they're a nice, beautiful red color. Then we add in some mayonnaise, about a cup. For this amount, I'm only gonna do about a half cup. And then we're also going to use some celery, some celery dice, a little bit of parsley, some pepper, and a generous pinch of salt. And we'll start to mix that up. We just want to make sure that the lobster is nice and coated and you have a nice consistency and texture. So again, it's somewhat similar if you were making potato salad, that's the amount of mayonnaise that you'd want to use. So in this case, it, it's fairly saturated, so I'm gonna go ahead and add just a touch more lobster. Oh, it looks beautiful. So the celery flavor is really going to mesh uh, with the mayonnaise and the lobster if it sits overnight. However, if you wanted to enjoy this right away, you're more than happy to. Now our bun, we have it should be toasted nicely on one side and you get that beautiful brown caramel. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. So we're gonna go ahead and also use the citrus uh, zest to also enhance the flavor of the lobster. So I'm just using a box grater and instead if you don't have a zester, you can use one. And you just wanna use a little bit of the lime. You, we don't need much. We'll use a lemon as well. A little bit more lemon. We like to have a fairly heavy lemon flavor. It really helps bring out any seafood whenever you're cooking seafood. It'll really, really make for a nice, uh, it'll make for a nice flavor. And then just a touch of orange as well. So you can see on the cutting board, we have just a small amount. You do not need a lot. It's very, very potent. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the salad. And again, the more time this sits in the fridge, the better, the better it's gonna taste. So we're gonna go ahead, mix that all up. And again, maybe just a touch more parsley. You really want that, that green parsley to really stand out. It'll, it makes for a really beautiful salad. And we gotta remember, when I, you're not cooking unless you're tasting. It's perfect. You can see we have a nice caramel on our bread. We're gonna go ahead and do a split top similar to what you'd see in Maine. So you can see that the bread on the inside is nice and light and really full of air. We're gonna go ahead and use this beautiful organic bib lettuce. We have already cleaned, so we'll go ahead and take two pieces, two nice sized pieces, and we'll go ahead and line the inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our salad And we're going to put a generous amount of the lobster salad right inside. And that is how the horse and plow does a lobster salad.